Today we're here at Providence's Teaching Kitchen and I'm here with Candy. She is a patient here. Now, Candy, tell me a little bit about what brought you to the Community Teaching Kitchen. Well, I had health problems. I had congestive heart failure, high cholesterol. I ended up having an emergency surgery for a blockage I had in my intestines and they said I needed nutrition to change my diet and I didn't know how to do that. I had no idea the options. I didn't know how to cook healthy. I didn't know how to do any of that. When, I, when, when Kayla started his speech, I knew it, that I was going to be okay. As a dietitian, like this is the dream job for me. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that. The Changing Kitchen is such a unique space. We are so welcoming, so friendly, and we really create that safe space for patients. We really build a community. They have taught me how to, in my own kitchen, eat properly and to have good food. It's helped me to explore things that I thought I didn't like. Um, it's helped me to learn how to cook without salt or with very little. And I pass it down to my family. My, my daughter's like, send me some more recipes. So I just feel like I'm contributing to the future of my family. Every step that I've learned here, every little decision can make a big impact. We have this beautiful garden where we get to, you know, educate about fruits and vegetables. We use the produce for our classes. So we're able to, you know, teach patients about seasonal eating and they're able to come up here, pick the vegetables, take it back over to the classes and cook with them, trying new things that they've never tried before. Um, using this garden has actually been really successful with that. So when you think about your journey the last two years, what do you think about? How does that feel to think, you know, I'm making a difference not only for myself, but for my family? Oh, it gives me hope. I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it, except for I have felt hopeless and I felt defeated. But in here, I've learned that I can change that and I can contribute to my grandchildren. His Make me look forward to tomorrow and not be, you know, living in a little cave. Of, because it really does feel like that. It feels like you're alone. They took this big mountain and they made it a molehill. I love them all. You really do. It must feel really good to be able to say that to people who've really helped you. Yeah, they do anything. Well, if there's anyone who is on the fence and they're scared or they're feeling helpless or feeling like they can't make that mountain into a molehill like you did, <laughs> what call here? <laughs> Give me your doctors are for you. I'm not kidding. They're very kind. They're very welcoming. They're very understanding. Because when you're in that place and you feel hopeless and helpless, there's no words to describe the way, you know, the journey out. When there's somebody leading you with a light, 